Hey, what's going on everybody? I hope everyone's day is going good today. So I wanted to make a video about this uh, professional Sane Logic Wi-Fi weather station. The model is WS0835 Plus, and this was from Amazon. Um, <clears throat> it ran me 170, I think. We mostly want something to keep track of the rain and seems like the normal glass ones you buy plastic ones always break in the winter if you don't take them out and you got to empty them every time it rains and stuff like that we had a smaller one of these that was like a 40 dollar version it was always blowing over in the wind and stuff this this one um it can connect to your phone it can also go to uh weather underground which i'm not too familiar with that so i won't be too helpful with that um it has an alarm function and this goes outside on a pole and it tells you like the wind speed wind direction as you can see um temperature should be inside and outside um and then <clears throat> it's supposed to give like a weather forecast kind of also which i'm not too worried about more worried about keeping track of the rain since we deal with a lot of plants and stuff like that so i'm here in my living room and i want to go ahead and start from the beginning with unboxing this and i'll have a link with this video so you can go ahead and purchase this for yourself and i'm going to give my honest feedback this was not given to me for free so i'm not uh gauge to go one way or the other you know if it's good or bad that, that that doesn't matter to me at all so i'm gonna go ahead and open it and then show you what all's in here all right so I just pulled this right out of the package we have a user manual a wi-fi setup guide here are some directions it looks like uh setting up or just uh, some basic instructions maybe that aren't too in depth this looks like the part that'll hook onto the pole outside There's some bolts. This is supposed to be able to, to go onto a pole. I'm not sure if any kind of pole was sent with it. It sure doesn't look like it. I want to think in this box. Let's see. There's a warranty card to activate the warranty if you're going to do that. This would be the inside part. You can see me. Hello. <laughs> um, looks like it takes three AAA batteries. Packing out here. Here is the actual unit itself. It does feel pretty lightweight. That doesn't always mean anything anymore. That's what it looks like. Again, Sane Logic, I guess is how you pronounce that. You will tell the wind speed, and this would be your direction, I would assume. This would be for your speed. And this is the rain collector. Obviously, it automatically dumps out somewhere from the bottom so you don't have to empty it and this is supposed to be solar powered from what i understand so you don't have to put batteries in this or worry about anything like that okay and we got oh, there's some kind of little pole in here obviously i'm not exactly sure yet how you would use this this may just be so you can hook it onto your other pole that adapts to this to fit into this it looks like but then you'd use the bracket they gave you to hook it onto like, I don't know, uh, I'll probably use like a T-post or something, you know, metal and strong. Uh, looks like there's one more thing in here. Well, I can see, not sure what it is. I've got my stand with me, so I'm holding my phone with one hand here. Oh, power, so I guess you can plug it in and you don't have to use batteries on that if you don't want to. So that's always nice. I am someone that does prefer to not have to replace batteries on a million things all the time. So, pretty simplistic what it looks like. Nothing else in the box, so I'm done with that. So, again, we got that. The adapter pole. This is the little piece that'll connect this to your other pole. Power. And the actual indoor unit. And then um, some bolts. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, I'll try to get video. Right now it's like 100 degrees outside here in Missouri with humidity that's like 90%, so it's absolutely killer out there. Um, so I'm gonna try to do this when I can. It, it's probably not gonna be today, which you're not gonna know that watching the video because I'll just put all the pieces together. Um, but uh, I'll try to get as much video footage as I can putting this together. And then mostly what I'm gonna go over is like, um, I'll try to figure out how to uh, screen record on my phone with the app so you can see how the app works. I feel like that's going to be uh, pretty exciting to be able to use an app to see all the data as well as the screen. So 
that's it for now. Uh, I'll see you in the next part. One little thing I noticed real quick too, um, before I move on is, like I said, this does batteries or it looks like it plugs in. It comes with a nice, I don't know, it's probably uh, five or six foot long cable. Um, this is the stand. However, this was kind of hidden here and it does, you know, show DC in the plug-in, but it does go in right there just in case anyone has a problem finding it. And before I forget, don't forget to check out our website, discountflamingo.com. Of course, I'll have the uh, link to check that out. We'll write an article on this and stuff, so you can find it in Google and then put this video on there too if you're watching this on YouTube or a blog. It's 2.23 p.m. Sorry, um, the woman on the wall just uh, interrupted me, but anyway nice color um screen here like very crisp i'm not sure how crisp you'll be able to see it um through my camera but it's a very very clean color of course it's not picking up anything yet because i haven't actually installed the deal on the pole outside which i'm going to be doing that soon really cool looking though all right so kind of in the middle of uh setting this up here the wi-fi the app um, turns out sucks. There's some good directions that I found that I'm going to be posting um, on with this video. And if you check out the article on our website also, I'll have a link to. I'll have directions someone else posted on the app reviews. It's kind of hard to find, but I found it. And basically you have to set up the wonderground.com. Um, you can see, I don't know if it matters if you see my keys or not. Probably not. I don't know why anyone would want it. And then you enter your Wi-Fi information. I'm here on the computer and I'll show you how to get to this with directions that you can very carefully follow. Um, clicking save is said, please wait, the device will try to connect to the Wi-Fi router. And it is showing connected. And I'll come back down here to this device and now that's no longer flashing. So that means um, I would assume it's connected. Though. All right, everybody. So hopefully you have been able to get your device online with the directions. Uh, post in the article like I said and I'll try to put it in the video somehow now I'm just looking for a good spot to put it it looks like this and this is what they give you this is the pole it sits on and then you have this little mount so you could screw it on top of something or you could screw it like that and the post would go up in there so I'm just gonna uh, search for a spot and get it connected all right so I have screws in my mouth if I sound weird my hands are full of everything else I'm holding the camera Got this six by six post right here inside our fence. I'm gonna try to get it on there. So the directions do say that the solar panel in the northern hemisphere, which is here in the United States, needs to face to the south. So it need to face like this. Luckily, the way my fence is setting here, I'm actually going on the fence because that post is a little crooked. Um, but anyway, um, there was a little bitty bolt and nut, and the post slides through there, and it goes on. And then let's see, assume there's something else. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, I'm about to find out though. But I'll go ahead. And this should set right up here. And it looks like I might need to put the bolt through before I can screw the mount on. But we'll see. So here. it looks like I was missing another one of these bolts unless I'm looking over something. But all these ones are big. So I had to end up just taking a screw and putting the screw in there. Also, I'm not going to be able to put it right there because the uh, wind direction deal was hitting the top picket. So it is going to have to be over there to be high. All right, so I don't know if this is exactly how you use the mount, but it works. And I got it on there. I just had to adjust it. You see the post is angled just from over time, kind of moving a little bit. But I got it like that. Then I need to use that piece. I guess that's to connect it to a stake or something. Heat index out here right now is like 111 or 112. <laughs> There's no wind and it's just really hot. But so I don't need to use all these other things the same way. I always use my own screws to drill in the wood because screws people give you just crappy Phillips. I like using like the decking screws. Oh, and here's that bolt I was just looking for. That little bitty one. It's got screwed over. Oh well, it's good now. So I guess we're gonna go inside and uh, see if we got any communications picking up everything. I mean that's moving by itself, even though the wind's not really going, it must be blowing enough to uh, move it. All right, so I'm back inside. It shows connected to Wi-Fi, indoor temperature, indoor humidity. Not getting anything outside. It might be because the unit's too dead or have to adjust the channels.
there's two of my three goats um so that's what the weather station looks like i know it looks like it's gonna touch the fence but it's not so after it not coming on or giving anything yet uh another <laughs> problem seems like i got a lot of them but uh trying to make an honest video here so this does take batteries i guess i thought it was solar or battery but it's not solar panel i don't know if that has to do with with the heat or if it just helps with some of the power or what but i did have to put three double a batteries in there there's a little compartment on the bottom like it shows they have it flipped upside down here but there's one screw and holds that so now i'm gonna go back inside and all right there. so i assume more details will come soon we're starting to get a few things there 0.7 mile per hour wind 90 degrees and 80 percent humidity so yeah a little difficult overall to set up and everything um but some things take time hopefully this will be a good unit and last a long time thanks for watching see you later Bye bye